Welcome Sagittarius Capricorn to your Astro Dice reading for May. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. For those of you who are new, this is where I take astrology with tarot and make a small horoscope for the month. Okay, here we go. Sag Cap. Best message for Sag Cap, please, for May. Got some Aries. Look at that. Aries energy coming in with Saturn. Love that. And the 12th house. So talking about that 12th house. So we got Saturn over here. That's what it is. It is the part of you that accepts challenge to gain wisdom. And doing it Aries style over here. Got some compassion going on. Some flaming stuff going on. The energy around you is dynamic and spontaneous. Crusading, impulsive action is likely to be taken. Yes, and you're definitely crusading. Look at this. You're taking a challenge with this Aries energy. Wow, that's some heavy-duty energy. But that's okay because you have that Sag in you. So you're used to that fire. So you're going to feel in, kind of like in your own element in a lot of ways. Right? That courageousness and dynamicness that all fire has. So going straight into the 12th house. 11th and 12th. Here we go. This is the area of your life that is overwhelming you. You yield to a greater cause of power. Talking about a lot of power over here. Got this challenge and this wisdom. Um, yeah. And it's good too because you have the Saturn in there and Capricorn is Saturn. So you're going to feel very grounded while doing this. So you're not going to feel like you're like floaty, right? Like you have some kind of like air in you, like, you know, to where you're going to be like floating away. <laughs> Right? No, you're going to be nice and grounded and really digging deep. Very rooted. Okay, so here we go. Going straight to the situation. The situation is taking place in the beginning of the month, the middle of the month, and the end of the month. on Saturn Aries and the 12th house at the beginning of the month. Here we go. There it is. Ooh, three cards out. Three cards spread. Here we go. It's because there's something that's not very passionate within you. So you're feeling in the very beginning of the month that there's something that's gone kind of awry. It's almost like you're, what are you looking for? You're accepting the challenge to gain the wisdom of what is passion. Maybe you want to know exactly what really is passion. Maybe you haven't felt it for a long time. Or maybe you're really trying to open those doors to passion to find what you need. And here we go with that beautiful Aries energy, Aries Taurus energy coming in that's saying, I'm the emperor. I'm going to take charge of this. And here's that impulsive action that the emperor has. And he's very spontaneous and very dynamic and standing um, for your own kingdom. So wherever the doors might not feel like they're open right now, it's okay. Maybe you don't have the romantic gestures. Maybe you're looking to find better romantic gestures, um, but you just feel like you need to get into kind of an emperor mode, right? Really being a general over here, taking on for your kingdom. And then there's the seven of coins. Really, there's that learning again, patiently planning, patiently learning, opening up the doors and trying to figure out what it is that you need to know. What is it that, you know, I really need to know to accomplish this? So really trying to gain that wisdom for those opportunities. Uh, clarify on that. You have the Four of Cups in reverse. So, you know, hey, you're not feeling destitute. You know, there's no destitution. There's no, I'm sad and sorrow. No, I'm trying to get down to the point of what is this? What is this really going on? These are the new possibilities of a new relationship. Maybe you have a new re relationship and you want to know, does this person really feel about me the way I feel about them? How do I open these doors more romantically, um, you know, to really kind of settle this, settle this, the score of love over here, right, and romance. Um, maybe you haven't, you know, I don't like to bring those things up much, but maybe you haven't opened the bedroom doors yet. Um, and maybe you're waiting and trying to gain access like, okay, so when are we going to, you know, um, do some heavy duty mingling over here, right? When are we going to thump the bed? 
um, and you're trying to open this and <laughs> yeah, for some of you, it could literally be that, right? Saying we haven't had the passionate moments yet and trying to figure out when is this new opportunity going to come? Hmm. If I really get into power mode over here and get more spontaneous and more frisky, um, and really get into emperor mode, you know, maybe a knight in white satin, I don't know, right? Then this can happen. Maybe that's what you're waiting for. So clarifying on the emperor. Yeah. And it's, it's because it's new. This is a new chapter in your life. And I do believe that for a lot of you, this overwhelming thing, I, I think that there is, you know, not just the, the romantic piece of the puzzle over here, but it's like, this is kind of new. Um, so maybe you're trying to make the possibilities. Maybe you're trying to patiently plan the time that you're going to make that move. Hey, right. You got the Scorpio over here. It could be dealing with the Scorpio. Um, could also be dealing with fire sign, you know, in Aries, maybe a Taurus, a Leo, another Sag. However, but, uh, yeah. Right? Trying to figure out what this transformation is. How do I transform this into being more romantic? You guys are just having a really good time um, and you would like to make it deeper. That's what it looks like. And it feels kind of overwhelming for you. Um, in the middle of the month, you have the faith traditions. It feels like maybe there's a traditional thing that's going on. Maybe you're going to learn their traditions. Maybe they don't have um, sexual relations before marriage. Maybe you're going to find that out. Um, maybe you're keeping the faith, um, you know, that this is the way this is. Um, however it is, the faithfulness that they have is kind of giving you three of swords with the star over here. Because if they are really traditional like that due to their faith, um, that's going to kind of yeah, kind of swords you, right? Um, but you're also feels like you're also trying to take the faith over here of knowing the wisdom, getting the wisdom and the challenge and really staying um, faithful even unto them, right? For whatever they are traditional for, right? Does that make sense? And the relationship looks very good. It's a very good relationship, but you do have the three of swords over here. And this is because you still have a dream. I think personally, here's my personal thought. You have a dream that you want. It's sorting you because you have faith within this relationship and you want to hold on to this relationship, but there's something else that you're really after. Can this person crusade with me? Can this person take the challenge with me? This is kind of overwhelming you because it feels like there's a dream. There's a goal that you're after, Sag Cap, that you're afraid maybe they won't take with you. So it's giving you three of swords. It's giving you this kind of pain. Like, do they want to do the things? Will they do the things I want to do? Will they take the leap of faith? Right. Will they take the leap of faith in this change with me and take the challenge? I have a dream that I want to go after, and I don't know if they're going to see it eye to eye with me. So it's kind of leaving you kind of out in the cold, and you're you're hoping everything will be okay, but it's something that's really in your mind in the middle of the month, if this person can go after the dreams that you have. But you're still trying to stay faithful to them. You want this person. You want to be with this person, but you're not sure that they're after what you're after. Yes, absolutely. You feel like you're kind of backed against a wall, but you're trying not to allow it to affect you at all. Trying not to affect it at all. You're trying to like put it out of your mind so you can continue to just have this relationship that you want. And if it's, if it's about them not having sexual relations with you, you're trying not to think about it um, because you're being faithful to them. And it could be all of the above, right? It literally could. It could be everything that I said. Um, and you're trying to stay true to them. And, but you want to stay true to yourself as well. Man, no wonder you're crusading over here. Okay. 
getting to the end of the month. So going after a dream and hoping that they're going to do it with you, whatever it is they're doing. <laughs> You're afraid that this is going to be like you keeping yourself in some kind of facade. Um, blinding yourself from the truth. Blinding yourself from the wisdom, from the challenge. Um, trying to keep yourself in hopes for the open doors, but it's a, you're kind of afraid. I feel kind of like there's a fear over here that they're not going to take the uh, the opportunities that you want. They're not going to be as mindful of what it is you are after, um, and you're kind of facading it. You're kind of blinding yourself from their, your own kind of truths about the situation and whatever situation. If it's all the situations, it is whatever the situation is for you. Everybody's story is a little different. But you're still, my friends, trying your hardest to go for the happiness, even though you're kind of living in a fantasy world, right? You kind of have your own fantasies going on um, about this this relationship. With the um, six of coins over here and the magician, you're still on attracting for that new opportunity you want. You haven't given up this dream um, and you're not going to. This is something that you've been law and attracting for a long time. This is a part of you. It's almost like it's it's melted inside you. Right? Like iron. You've made your own like huge shield that but you didn't just like put on this shield, like you like mended it to your body, right? And that's like because you've been having this dream for so long that there's no almost like like there's no possibility of almost escaping it because it's just, that's what you want. And there's no reason you should escape that. You've been working after that so long. Why would you do that? It would be like going to college to become a doctor, going to college for eight years or something crazy, and then finding someone and they're like, well, I don't really like doctors. Okay. No, you're lying to yourself. Don't say okay. Don't say okay for the happiness, you know? No, don't say that. That's not true. Because over here, it's like over here, you have the 12th house that's telling you you have all these opportunities waiting for you. That is what you're going after. That was the whole point. So it's kind of like you are kind of stepping out of the growth that you had and the hard work and the pro the progress and this, you know, and everything you're doing um, to try to make something happen. Um, that's not, might not really be set. It's like trying to set something in motion with something else and then trying to mend the two together. Uh, this person isn't mending with you. Whoa. Uh oh, my card fell on the ground. You want them to be loyal to your options and your opportunities because of the hard work and the law and the attraction and the magic and all the work that you put into this. You want them to say, hey, I'm loyal to this. And you're hoping that that's what they're going to say at the end of the month when they find out that this is what you've been looking at and this is what you're working on. So, you know, you're really trying to get to where you want to be. But right now, this is kind of stepped you off the boat to go in the direction that you want to be. Um, but you will learn and have the understanding that either they're going to go for what you want or they're not. And then you need to make up the decision of what you're doing over here, Sedge Cap, to get to your ace of coins because you literally have something that you've been working on that you've stayed loyal to. And you're so loyal to this, um, you need to inspect the situation and learn about the situation. It's the overall situation. Okay, so that was a reading for you. Until next time, peace and love.